I'm Mark Leo, and I'm the owner, executive chef of Campanile Restaurant. Uh, so Campanile is fine dining, but there's also like a singular warmth to it and a familiarity to it. Uh, and I feel like that has to come from you. Would you agree with that? Uh, yeah. Uh, Campanile is fine dining, but we've used plenty of truffles and foie gras uh, over the years. Uh, caviar, I'm not with caviar. Uh, but yes, I, mean, I think that what Campanile is, it, it, it's more of a rustic feel. Even if we're using foie gras, even if we're using truffles, it has to have a connection, a connection to the soul. Uh, I've never been a fan of modernist cuisine or tortured food. Uh, it, I like food that people feel comfortable seeing and feel comfortable tasting. Even if it's a little bit odd, are, it's understandable, it's accessible. Uh, going back into your childhood a little bit, where did you grow up? I grew up in um, Southern California, Napa, Northern California. My family's from Southern California. My um, great grandfather moved to Los Angeles in 1908. We're from San Francisco, actually. He was a baker, a German baker. So my family was from the same year, Rhode Island. And then after my parents were divorced, when I was about 10, 11, uh, Northern California, my mother, my brother and sister and I, uh, we had relatives up there, so I grew up uh, high school, junior high school in Santa Rosa. And uh, how old were you when you realized that you liked to cook? I realized I liked to cook, I think when I was in, yeah, I think as early as junior high school, high school, uh, I really enjoyed Thanksgiving. I enjoyed it. It's my favorite holiday, Florida, because there's no gift giving. You know, gift giving it becomes very competitive. Uh, you know, hey, God, that's good enough. I spent twenty bucks. How can I only spend twenty bucks? You know, it's this is a thirty dollar friend or a fifty dollar friend or whatever. But Thanksgiving is all about family and friends and getting together and making good food. And, you know, when I was young, I, I'm sure the food that we did was yams with marshmallow glaze on top and, uh, you know, dry turkey and canned peas, maybe frozen peas. But I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole process. Uh, was there an important teacher when you were, or who introduced you to cooking when you were growing up? Nobody introduced me to cooking when I was growing up. I did it on my own. And it was a fluke, really, when I was in high school. Uh, junior in high school, I got a girlfriend. Well, we had no money, so uh, having a girlfriend and no money is not really very, it doesn't work. I needed a job, so I found it. The first job I found, which paid 20 cents more than minimum wage, so I thought, well, you know, I hit the gold mine, uh, was washing dishes at a restaurant in Healdsburg. And so I would wash dishes and I would help the chef and you know, I, and I loved it. Tasted sweetbreads for the first time in my life. Um, we were cutting steaks and, and um, butchering chickens and making stocks. And I was fascinated and working very, very hard. 
Was, uh, was there an important teacher when you were learning how to, moving ahead to when you began to do this professionally, was there an important teacher you had when you were learning to be a chef? Oh yeah, they were the most important teacher mentor I think was uh, Wolfgang. For sure. When I moved, when I decided I liked to do it enough to do it really professionally, <clears throat> I cast around and found uh, there was a school of hotel and restaurant management that was basically just starting out in Cal Poly Pomona. So I moved back to Los Angeles from Santa Barbara before I was going to school at UC Santa Barbara. And went and transferred to Cal Poly Pomona. Lived with my father in Hacienda Heights, which is in the San Gabriel Valley. And then through just a series of circumstances, ended up talking to Wolfgang, uh, or actually Patrick Tarai, who was the owner of Pomona Zone, and ended up working there one or two days a week at Palm Zone in 1975. That's great. This is all great, by the way.